first two terms to consider are mass and weight. Now it's very easy to get these confused as they both use the SI symbol kilogram and when a material is on Earth under Earth's gravity, its mass and weight will be the same. Mass is essentially a way of measuring the amount of material in the substance, pretty much how many atoms it has. So a one kilogram mass of copper will always contain the same quantity of atoms. Weight, on the other hand, relates to the force a mass exerts on anything that supports it. The most common reason for this force is the effect of gravity. Now I said earlier that under Earth's gravity, mass and weight are the same. So a one kilogram mass of material would also weigh one kilogram. But on the Moon, which is one sixth of Earth's gravity, a one kilogram mass would only weigh 166.6 grams. So mass is always constant, it's always the same. But weight is not. Although the force of weight in kilograms is nearly always shortened to kg, the correct notation is kgf for kilograms force. However, the force which the mass exerts on the surface is not measured in kilograms, but in newtons, which we will look at shortly. The next three principles we need to look at are speed, velocity, and acceleration. And again, these can be easy to confuse as they deal with similar terms. Speed is very easy to understand, especially if you've been in a car. For example, if you can drive at a constant speed of 30 miles per hour, you will, in one hour of time, travel a distance of 30 miles. So speed refers to the distance travelled and the time taken. Speed can be represented by this formula. Speed equals distance divided by time. In the example we used, distance was measured in miles and time was measured in hours, but we could have used any number of acceptable units in the formula. For example, kilometres, metres or centimetres for distance, or minutes or seconds for time. So for example, if we used minutes in our previous formula, there are 60 minutes to an hour, that gives us 30 miles divided by 60 minutes. Then we can actually determine our speed per minute, which gives us half a mile per minute. Velocity is very similar to speed, and in fact uses the same formula to determine the distance travelled. So what's the difference, you may ask? Well, the difference is direction. For example, if you hit a ball with a bat, you can see that its direction can be represented by two coordinates. The angle that it is heading up or down, referred to as trajectory, and the angle that represents the 360 degrees horizontal field of view. 